It's a beautiful day, so we took the bikes out and we decided to take a little trip and pay a visit to one of my favorite places, which is Canto Camera. So let's go in and have a look to see what they're cooking. A few years back, Canto moved to a new location, which is a bit smaller than their old place because the old one was just too big. So now they're much more compact and it's in a regular looking apartment block. Welcome. Very cool. Okay, let's go in. So here we have some of the items that they have for sale because Canto, not only do they do repairs and customization, but they also sell cameras. They have items that they have refurbished themselves and they have items that they've refurbished for customers who then ask them to sell them for them. It's kind of cool because you get to see some unusual stuff. That's a Konica Pro Half. I don't see very many of those, that's a half frame. It's kind of cool. Um, Hasselblad 503 Gold, limited edition, uh, number 370. Ooh, very nice. Um, one of the cleanest looking Olympus Pen Ws I've ever seen. And the thing I love about buying stuff from Canto directly is that you know it's going to be absolutely bang on. You're never going to have to return it with issues. Come into Canto Camera, this is the first place you're going to see and they've now got their lovely plastic guard up to present, prevent from Corona. Um, and this is what you're going to get to see. You're going to get here, you're going to give them what you want in terms of how to have the customization. And the staff here, some of them speak English as well. so. That's less of a problem for people. It makes it a lot easier. Obviously, not people can't come at the moment because of Corona, but this is all you will see, unless you're JCH, and then we're gonna show you what is behind the curtain. Hi. So this is, uh, this is Suzuki-san. Suzuki-san is the uh, main port of call for most people. This is who you will speak to over the mail and she's very, very helpful and she's lovely, very nice. Um, she will be probably your main port of contact if you are contacting Cantor Camera. And through here is where the magic happens. So let's go and have a look. Right, this is it. As you can see, this is the full workshop. They made it a bit smaller than it used to be. Um, they used to have a lot more space, but it was too much space. There was a lot of unused space. So they've managed to put everything into a much smaller area now. And uh, they can focus on exactly what they want to get done. As you can see from here, they are very, very, very busy. There are stacks of cameras. Shoji here is the, uh, he's the master repairman. He's the uh, manager of the repairs department. And he is working on an M3. Um, as you can see, his workspace is how he wants his workspace. One of his cameras. So he, I think he really likes his job. As you can see, um, so people ask, why is my stuff taking so long? Well, this is why, because there is a backlog of work. They have got absolutely tons and tons, uh, a lot of work that's uh, going on for people. So there is a queue, because there's only so many people like this that can do this job. So that's why you have to wait. What we have here, this is a lens a calibration machine for the Leica lenses, a kilometer or whatever you might want to call it. So this is how he will test to make sure that the lens is absolutely in focus. This is cool as well. This is an infinity meter. So you can check that the lens is to infinity without having to go outside. You just have a, it's almost like a telescope type thing and it can give you an infinity check. As you can see, it's a very quiet and serious atmosphere because they've got to get things exactly right. This is precision work. Well, this is a lens coating machine. See lenses in here. What they can do 
is uh, coat pencils themselves, um, just with one coating, but they can actually recoat lenses, which is is very unusual, very cool. Cold cathode discharge vacuum gauge. Nice. Yeah, so that's a lens coating machine. That is something you definitely do not see every day. And quite unique. I don't think many repair shops have got one of these. So yeah, so that's cool. What we have here is paint prep. So he's prepping cameras for painting. Um, you can see they've got to strip everything off before it can go in for the paint. So they meticulously take off every single bit of paint, bit of chrome, any bit of gunk, any goo that was stuck on the camera from being around for perhaps 50 years. Prepped, ready, and then it will go in for paint. So the painting process. He's going to take the camera off to be painted. So what we have in here is the paint room. So once the camera has been prepped for painting, stripped of all chrome and had the surfaces prepared, he can start the painting process. Very cool. This is a, a, a summer crown. Ah, except it's been painted red like uh, like the special edition, the one that Leica did. Nice, very nice. Black dot as well for those nice little touches. You don't see that. That's cool. Look at the look at the condition of this R5. It's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm gonna get a picture of that. So what you have here is an original Leica test equipment. So. Uh, shutter test, shutter analyzers, aperture testing equipment, exposure analyzers, so that you can make sure everything is absolutely on point. I love wet style. <laughs> so what we have here, and this is something that's very special, um, to be allowed to see this even is very special. This is uh, original parts, uh, Leica parts and other camera parts, some um, which have been made by themselves, some which are original because Obviously some are very old now, so they have to remake them, but these are all parts for Leica cameras. And you've got the image washers, dials, you've got, and, and to understand the scale, there are Leica M3, Leica M3, Leica M5, Leica M6 parts, all the parts you could possibly imagine. So if your camera needs a replacement part, they know that when they're repairing it, they can replace that part. So different leathers, um, some real, some synthetic, depends on what you ask for. Different colors, different styles. Look at that, isn't that a bit, kind of sexy. Lots of different coverings, again, um, some real, lots of synthetic, because you know, synthetic's cool. What happens here is they need to get the lens when making lens elements and parts of it, putting them together, it needs to be put into its, uh, into its brass mount or into its metal mount. So what they use is one of these, it's a stamp and it's a press and it puts the lens into the mount and holds it into place. So he's assembled the lenses and they've been cleaned, made sure that they're all aligned properly and what he needs to do now is lock them into place. So first of all he's got to make sure that they're nice and lined up. This is a parallax machine so you can make sure the uh, parallax is correct on the rangefinder. So what we have here is a shutter speed testing machine so we can make sure that it's on point this is Roy san this is the shacho this is the boss of kanto camera he's the one that makes this happen so 
His father started Canto Camera, second generation, keeping it in the family, keeping it going. And uh, thank you for letting us come. Arigato Hi. Thank you. This is Canto, or that was Canto. That leads them to it. They're hard at work. They're busy getting everybody's orders fulfilled. But this is, you can see, where the magic has been happening and will continue to happen. Thank you very much for letting us come visit and uh, keep on working hard. Okay.